First of all, just your reaction to this news that an hour ago would have seemed like an absolute shock, and, and yet here it is sinking in. What, what do you make of it all? Well, something rather stunning. We had read the story about his interaction a year ago with Rashir Bolton, and honestly, it sort of had forgotten about it. It was, it was obviously not a pleasant story at the time, but one didn't know that it went any farther than his initial response to that. Uh, and obviously, Penn State took it very seriously. Uh, they, they've taken the action that they have. It comes at a very difficult time, without a doubt, for the players who are in the program now. There are some very fine basketball players at Penn State now that are a week into, into full-time practice that now have to make an adjustment to a completely different coach. And as, as you know, Dave, uh, this, is not a, this is not going to be an easy year to compete in the Big Ten Conference. It's not going to be an easy year for anybody given the circumstances they're playing through. But it's really going to be a challenging season once we get into Big Ten play for everybody that's trying to win basketball games. And I think Jim Ferry is a fine basketball coach. Uh, he, he, he can do some things differently than what Patrick did during his time there that might sit, suit this team. But it would have been great for the Nittany Lions if maybe they'd been able to come to this decision sooner. Yeah, give us a sense for Jim Ferry, for people who might not know him. He is well-traveled, certainly very well-known in basketball circles, kind of in the inner circle of college basketball and very well-respected. But for those who might not know his name because he hasn't really been a high major head coach, give us a sense of who he is. He spent a lot of time as the head coach at Long Island University and did a very fine job. It took a while to build the program to great success, but his last two seasons, they were conference regular season champions. And his last season at LIU, they were a very dynamic offensive team. They were number two in the nation in 2011-12 in scoring. And when, when and he also then went to Duquesne from that. He used that as a launching pad to Duquesne. Duquesne's a very difficult job. Uh, they're having success now, uh, but it, it had been a very long time uh, before they were able to get to success. They really struggled for about three decades, and Jim wasn't able to turn it. When they hired him at Penn State, when Patrick hired him, I really thought that Jim would be given more control of the offense than he was. I thought he would be able to inject some life into the offense that hadn't been there. And gradually, as the, as the personnel increased, especially to this past season, when they were so dynamic at guard with players like Isaiah Brockington and Miles Tread, as well as having Lamar Stevens up front, they were able to be better offensively than they had been. But I, I think that he'll, he'll, his offensive abilities, his, his, his desire to push the pace of the game, I think suits the players that they have in place now. Uh, they don't have the kind of size and, and versatility in the front court they had with Lamar Stevens uh, and obviously Michael Watkins. But the guard play that they have, I think, I think at the very least, he'll, he'll give them a fighting chance once he's able to get them going in the direction and understanding that he's the man in charge. Things clearly did not end the way that Patrick Chambers or anyone associated with Penn State, frankly, would have wanted them to end. But can you put the Chambers era into some sort of perspective for us? I think that if you look at the, the core of the Big Ten, the, 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 the group of, of 11 that have been in the league uh, for basically the past 40 years, uh, 30 years, I should say, uh, at the, Penn State basketball has always been the most difficult job in that, in that particular, in men's basketball. It's been the most difficult of the Big Ten jobs to succeed. And I don't think there's any question that he made it better, uh, that he brought in some players who were outstanding. Uh, I mentioned several of them, Lamar Stevens, obviously the best of them. Uh, and they were able to become more competitive in the Big Ten. Very unfortunate, Patrick or not, uh, uh, very unfortunate this past year's team didn't get the chance to play in the NCAA tournament and end that streak of not having made it. Uh, and, and maybe get a chance to take their shot at winning some games. Uh, but he did change the, the, the nature of the program to, to a more successful, uh, a more desirable program. They had some very nice crowds. They did the wonderful things. That you, you and Steve down in, uh, in, Pens in, in, in Philadelphia at the Palestra, moving some games there, I think was very, a very good move for them. 
and something that they're going to want to return to in the future. So he has improved the, the sport of men's basketball at Penn State. A very disappointing end and, and obviously a very unfortunate choice of words uh, in that interaction with Rashir Bolton from the 2018-19 season. I, I think it, what, it, what it does, it leaves a warning to all coaches that they need to choose their words carefully when they are interacting with their players, that there are certain terminologies now that are completely out of bounds. Perhaps they always should have been, but you need, to, you need as a coach to be someone that's on top of the language that you choose to use. Just as you and I have to uh, be certain of what we say on television, I think the coaches need to go into a practice understanding that as much as it's an enclosed environment and there are very few observers, if not in some cases none, it's still that, that, that idea that what you say is, is not going to simply stay in the practice. It has to be, it, you, you have to be firm uh, and direct and sometimes punitive, but you can't be, uh, you can't use racial terminology. You can't use uh, the, 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 old-fashioned terminology demeaning to women that people have used. You have to be very careful about how you go about disciplining your players. And if you don't,